<clears throat> excuse me so after months off the air I'm coming back at you here with another NES Chronicles uh, video so this is one that I've been wanting to play for a while uh, and it's actually a game that I've had a little bit of difficulty finding um, and so what I'm doing here and I, I feel a little bit of guilt in doing this but uh, what I'm doing is kind of taking a shortcut instead of going through uh, eBay and scouring yard sales on Saturday morning to try and find the games that I want. I am actually going to be uh, from here on out with a few rare exceptions here and there uh, actually playing these via emulators. Uh, this will really help especially with the recording aspect of it so in the past as you no doubt noticed I've been setting up a video camera in front of a television and that does not make for the best quality and I, I really don't want to have to do that and I thought about investing in a couple of uh, setup kits to try and uh, hook all of my equipment up to play it in that way, but this really is just easier. It'll save me time, it'll save me money, it'll help me uh, kind of get through these and hopefully make them more uh, a little more streamlined and a little more enjoyable for everyone watching them. So uh, that's what we're going to do here. So Okay, so here we go. Okay, one of the characters leads, or one of the gravestones, excuse me, leads to a crypt. Stand on the gravestone and press B on control pad to enter. And of course, this is the problem with ROMs because you always have to just kind of play around with the keyboard to get it, even though most of these are set up for the same set of keys. But let's see if we can figure out anything here. Okay, so it looks like my job is to collect money, which makes sense, right? Considering. I was kind of like Mario. Wasn't Gomez like a big money, like a big rich guy or something? Okay, that's better. Volume is deafening on that. Just that later. So it's kind of like Mario. You jump on uh, what looked like giant Venus flytraps, which this may have been in the movie. I don't remember. It's been a really long time since I've seen it. Uh, my character's almost dead here. Awesome. Let's give it another go and see what happens. Alright, so... I guess that's just there for aesthetics. I can't grab that and pull down on it. A noose. Jump on it, man. Come on. Okay, so... I'm supposed to be finding a gravestone, apparently. What, what the hell? What am I supposed to do there? I can't get away from, I can't get away from that. I guess I'm supposed to take damage. Okay, I can jump over it. It's cheap as hell. That's a ghost to kill me. Alright, so which gravestone? I'm gonna guess that one up top. It's gonna be hard to get to. Not that hard to get to, I guess. Alright, let's see how to push different buttons on my keypad. Okay, it's not doing anything. Let's see if this does anything. Uh, oh yeah, I just made me hit bank right there. Of course, when you jump on one character, or one bad guy like a ghost, you bounce, but you don't jump on a skull and you just fall straight down, so... Inconsistent physics. That makes perfect sense. So is this a grave? Can I try to open this? And there's somebody sticking out of the side of the house. It's like a Power Ranger. What? I can't tell you how infuriating that is. See, on that skull I bounced, but on the ones that are above the pit of needles, I didn't bounce. What? I landed on him! Arrgh. See, and the thing is, I don't even know if I'm pushing the right button on the control pad, because... Alright, look, I'm on top of it. Oh, I did- oh, I figured it out, nice. So where's my guy? Okay. Is this a boss? What? Hey, 
touches me one time and I die? Okay, I'd have to start over. Okay, that's, that's good at least. Let's see if I can jump on him. Not jump over him, Chris. Jump on him. Oh yeah, he's done. This guy's done. It's like he's climbing an invisible robe and walking forward. <laughs> if I just keep jumping over him, this is gonna go on for eternity. Yeah. Look at that. Front door key. Achievement unlocked. Gomez can enter his own house. I wanna get that money though. Okay. I did make it in the house, finally. So can I climb the steps? Okay. I love how they can't have a door. They've got all the floor a place more door, just so you can figure it out. And over here you've got Count Chocula and Senorita Blueberry getting married. Do I have to start at the beginning of the game? Okay, well that's good at least. You want to start all the way over. So, am I supposed to be able to climb all that stuff? Why? Is my house such a death trap? Well, I guess that makes sense if you think of the Adam Family movies, but let's see if I jump on these guys. Alright, maybe I'm not supposed to be in this room yet. Oh, okay, they get hurt by two people getting married. I assume they're getting married. What else they could be doing? Can I leave? Okay. Well, how do you climb that, then? Uh, what, what? I can't jump on him? What the heck? I guess I just have to jump up here. Okay, so maybe I just shouldn't be in this room because... I just got killed by King Hippo. Get out of the room. Nice, they're just randomly slashing. <laughs> they're like, you have chosen poorly. Come on. What? I don't even know what I'm supposed to be doing here, to be honest. I think I had my fill of the Adams family. So there you have it. That is the Adams family. Uh, they got the music right, at least. Uh, Graphically, it's not all that bad. It's not any different, really, than a ton of other NES games that are side-scrolling platformers, which they pretty much all are, you know, minus RPGs and a couple of other things. So, uh, gameplay-wise, it's a little confusing. You know, I, I will chalk up part of that to the fact that I'm using a ROM, uh, but it's hard to understand what you're supposed to do. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense. I feel like when you get into the house itself, you begin wandering around, and as a gamer, I've lost a lot of interest, you know. Had I been 10 years old and wouldn't have a choice but to play the game because it cost 50 or 60 dollars, my parents had purchased it for me, I would have figured it out, but as a 31 year old, I can just bypass it, so I'm going to give this one 1 out of 5. I do not look forward to ever revisiting it. However, I do believe that the next game on my docket is yet another Adam's Family game, so I'll see if that ROM is available and I will check it out. And we'll be coming back at you here soon with another 